So I'm out on the look, out on the road bike, the look 585. I'm putting the 1136 cassette to test. So there it is in all its might. The 11, 10 speed, uh, 1136. So in a second, you're gonna see me riding up a big hill over there, uh, showing you how easy it is to ride up hills when you've got the correct gearing. So this is the 36 tooth here, this bad boy, this is the secret. This one here is the 32 which is pretty good already, but that's only the second highest, so 36 is what we want. So, here it is, and there's a compact crank on the front. So we're out on the bike, and um, yeah, I just want to demonstrate the importance of having the correct gearing, um, the right gearing for the climb, which you're trying to do, and how much more enjoyable it makes it. So, without further ado, let's put it to the test up that bad boy hill over there. I'm gonna ride up it one-handed. Right, here we roll. There's the hill. Just need to clip in. Let's rock and roll. All right, so this hill is fairly steep. It's not very long. This is Mainporth Hill. I actually did a video here. It's my most watched video, randomly. It was just a vlog I did two years ago, around this time of year, almost exactly two years ago. Um, anyway, let's stop chatting about that. So as you can see, I'm barely out of breath at the moment. It gets steeper in a sec, as I said, but uh, I've just got one hand on the handlebars, look. Legs are spinning around. Easy peasy. I'm still in the saddle. Still just sat down. I'm just cruising up the hill. And this is with one hand. So this just kind of shows the importance of the correct gearing. There you go, look. In the big cog, just cruising. If I had a 28 tooth as the max gear here, I would definitely be struggling to do this. I mean, this is a little bit steeper now, look. But at one hand on the handlebars, this is just leg power. Just leg power. If I put both hands on, it's easier. So, basically, having a 36 at least <clears throat> even a 32 if I was in the 32 this wouldn't be so easy either and I haven't been riding for ages so basically having this easy so-called easy gearing makes any hill possible basically and that's how you want to look at things so I'm practically at the top now I had to put my other hand on to get round a couple of bin lorries but there you go the power of easy gearing <clears throat> if you can spin your legs round I don't have a power meter on my bike so I can't tell what my cadence is or anything but I can feel how how much power I'm putting through the pedals if you, uh, if you have easy gearing then you're not scared of anything Thanks for watching. That's the 11.36 cassette on a road bike put to the test. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And that was quite a steep climb.